Okay, just a really quick um, review and thoughts on this. It's, uh, it's probably about the cheapest uh, earth leakage clamp tester you can buy. Um, having said that, you do see it in a lot of different guises, um, all over the you know different retailers. Um, I'm not sure if they are all exactly the same, but they all look exactly the same, albeit just in different colours and with a different branding. This one's a Multicomp Pro um, MP780050, um, and this one costs about it's just over forty pounds, I think. Um, the, the it only really does one thing, and that is it just measures the current through a conductor which you place inside of this ferrite ring here. Um, but this is basically a current transformer, more or less, but, it, you know, let's not get into that. And it, in the instructions, it does give, um, like, three different ways. And um, I, I think it probably works okay when you're measuring just a single conductor, but the majority of the time, um, you're going to be wanting to measure the difference between the line and the neutral. And that is where this falls down. So let me show you. Right, um, I've plugged a, a fan heater into this adapter, which um, it, it's, I've just made this up so you can actually just separate out the cores, um, measure the current in in each of them separately. Um, uh, this this fan heater is like a class one appliance, so it's earth. It's typically with a heating element with a, an earth outer casing on the heating element in particular. I would expect to see a little bit of earth leakage in it. Um, which hopefully we can we can measure um, but the problem I found was when I was trying to actually look for the difference between what's going down the line conductor and what's in the neutral so if I switch it on um, just to kind of get our bearings if we look at it, it seems to measure low current okay so it's measuring around about 8 amps which seems about right um, and obviously have around about 8 amps returning in the neutral although there's a little bit of a discrepancy there no. No. I mean nothing, nothing that would worry me let's go if we go down the range to the kind of milliamp range which is what you're going to be looking at um, typically nuisance tripping of RCDs well they you know they they're rated at 30 milliamps they usually trip somewhere between 20 and 25 ish um, look at just around the earth conductor is about, about well, just under one milliamp it's saying um, I, I think I can probably believe that you know I, I, that wouldn't surprise me um, now the problem comes is when we do the thing where we want to measure the difference and we get readings of 40 40 milliamp. Uh, that would just trip, if that was true, that would just trip the RCD straight away. Um, and it seems to be really dependent on where you hold the cables. Um, it's just all over the place. And if you're trying to fault find um, being in this sort of situation, it doesn't seem to. It's not about the way the clamps round. I don't think it just it really is just given inconsistent readings. Um, um, that's not what you need. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I was hoping that this would be one of those things which are cheap and surprisingly good. Um, a bit like uh, this, which a lot of people have already reviewed. Um, this is almost like a multi-function multimeter, if you like, with clamp on it as well. And seems to, for the price of it, do everything it advertises really well. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for an all-round. Uh, multimeter for under 40 quid that's your one as far as this one goes um, it, it's going to be returned I think because it's not really of any use to me and um, I don't know whether it's just a one-off or whether I'm just looking for something too cheap um, but incidentally if anybody does know of a, a, a decent um, earth leakage plant tester for sort of under 100 pounds and um, let me know in the comments because it's the sort of thing that I, I'm, I'm after really, but this is certainly not it. But, uh, until the next time, thank you.